I'd like you to meet Randy, my neighbor and friend who can build literally anything. I'm a video producer and knew nothing about woodworking, always wanted to learn. So we agreed to an exchange. He'd teach me how to build a design of my own and I'd show him how to make a video. And we made something that we're really proud of. It's my hope that this allows Randy to continue teaching others, helping them grow outside of their comfort zones while bringing their unique ideas to life just the way he did for me. I hope you enjoy. Friday, 1, 24 p.m. Randy, it's Nancy. Hey, um, I hear you're doing some weird shit over there during this lockdown. If that's true, I have a really cool project. It's a convertible table, but I'll tell you more when you call me back. Hope all is well. Bye. All right, so we made another episode. This is episode two. Episode dose. So your work colleague, Nancy, and you did yes. a build together. Yes. And this time you shot all the video on your own. I think it went, you know, pretty good. Well, let's, let's check it out. <laughs> all right. My daughter's just moved into a condo in college, and they're roommates now. And one thing they didn't have was a coffee table. And they also had kind of smaller bedrooms. So when you had talked about the idea of making a coffee table that could be a desk, I was like, wow, yeah, that would be such a cool piece to build. So did you want to connect these together and then cut the desk out? Well, right now we got to figure out the length of this desk. Okay, so yeah, we're looking at trying to get as much of that beautiful highlight, right, as possible. That's amazing. Than it was. Yeah. So you want to start on this edge here? Start right here. Roll it on the top and then you're gonna come back. Got it. I'm just teaching you how to cut it so we don't get a, a blowout. I do believe that anyone can do woodworking. It's it's uh, it's understanding the shortcuts mainly. And uh, once you understand those possibilities, it kind of just it kind of just opens up your world to something new. Uh, which is what I enjoy about this. I enjoy watching others kind of go, oh my God, that's how you do that? That's, that's what's fun about it. These things swell. The biscuits? Yeah, because of the glue. Okay. And that's the whole idea where they lock in. Just trying to get the, uh, the bump out of this. Mm -hmm. I really like the burl in this, but mm -hmm. uh, I can tell there might be some challenges. What's wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Pretty crooked over there. Better? Oh, a lot better. Yeah, so it just... a little twist at the end, but I'm not worried about that. Okay, We're tying see. it in anyways. Yeah. We're doing double rabbits again. I like this joint. Nice. What does he think about the double rabbit? Would he chase it? Uh, we call him the double rabbit. That's the router button. <laughs> he is the double rabbit. Yeah, the double rabbit. So you're looking at that gauge? What device is this? I haven't seen this one. Oh, uh, this is a planer. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so it'll plane the wood down so you can get the uh, certain gauge out of it. And look at that um, pattern on the wood, wow. Yeah, this is burl. Um, you can get burl out of different woods, but this is a walnut. We're using walnut and maple. The burl is really interesting to find in a, in a tree. You're looking at knots in different ways, different patterns, but it's a beautiful wood. And here Nancy is sanding and sanding and sanding. As an artist, it, I've been always told, oh, you don't need to know math, but that's not true, right? If you're sculpting, woodworking, you have to know math. You have to know math. The lower arm, the way we cut it, is now eight and five eighths. That's a one inch difference. So the way I always do it is I go to Google and I say, <laughs> square root. <laughs> that's what it does right there, the Google machine. One of our angles is 48.14 degrees, and the other one is 41.86 degrees. By the way, this is going into about 30 minutes. <laughs> so in the end, we used, what did we use? We used your eyes. Visual, yeah. <laughs> Visual. <laughs> 
Oh, we're doing some uh, some dominoes again. Oh, I, I love the domino. So a chamfer is two angles coming together. So you have this angle and this angle. That's a chamfer when the two of them come together. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. I, I didn't know what a chamfer was. Yeah, it's just two angles, 45 and a 45, or uh, whatever. moment of truth. It looks like you're about to do a dry fit over here. Yeah. Always dry fit. That looks pretty good. Yeah. And the dry yeah. fit is crucial, right? Yeah, you have to dry fit everything. Otherwise, you don't know what you're going to get. You're in the middle of the glue. Yeah. And, and then it doesn't line up. Well, it doesn't line up, and now you have wet glue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here's where we're gluing this up. This is pretty intense. That's why I had both of us on this. Um, you got five different pieces. You don't want the glue to dry too fast. And you have all these different joints coming together. Um, you need two people on this. Two paddles. One, another one here. The router is scary, man. You definitely should be scared of it. I'm really holding it here. Got it. You're just guiding it with the I'm guiding paddle? It. I'm guiding it um, with this hand, and I'm, I'm directing it with this. If you know how to use it the right way, you can be less scared, but yeah, you should be a little frightened of it. She looks like she's learning, she's doing well. Here's some varnish that you're putting on. Nancy kicks ass. She kicked ass. Her and I work together very well. We've done a ton of shows together. Dude, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I have one of these, I just haven't used it recently. It looks actually Pretty good. Beautiful. And especially the um, the rounding over of that edge is going to help it too. So if you take a look at the side view here, you can see what I've done there. Right. I think we're good to set this in. Okay. Oh, so you did your dry fit and now you're gluing the inside of the box it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm gluing it from the bottom in. The bottom isn't on yet. I wanted to hide the end grain of the uh, plywood. Another two hours for me. I mean, we're going on half an hour. Yeah, same as the other side. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. What are you making here? What's that? These are shims. Shims are really important. Shims and spacers. So you put the shims in, and now you're taping it closed. So. So that when we flip it in and put the uh, the hardware on. It won't move. The right way, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be strong enough, apparently. And there is the centering bit. Center bit will go directly in the hole and center, oh. center itself. Oh my gosh, that's totally freaking cool. I think it may stay. Wow. <gasps> All right. Oh my god. That works. So we're gonna have to figure something out for the, for to be able to grab it. Um, we can do like a little. Yeah, I agree. Like that. Yes. So here, I'm putting on the bottom, doing a little roundovers. Oh, this is a router roundover bit. Chamfer, another chamfer. It's kind of nice at the corner of the way. <gasps> Look what's happening. It's really coming together. Look at that. 
The burl's amazing, isn't wow. it? Wow, and it's not even varnished yet. No. So you're marking where the inlay? Where the inlay is gonna go here. I'm gonna use a router here. I've got it a hair over right now. Okay. So we're gonna add epoxy to the bottom of this once we put that in. So but, the brass stays in. Yeah. I mean, if you feel that, feel that. It's a yeah, tiny yeah. bit over. And all I'm doing is setting up a jig here. This is a little tricky because you can't fuck it up. I mean, you can't slip. You can't move one way or another. You have to stay on that straight line. You want me to sand a little bit? I just palm sand it over there. That could be a good idea. Yeah. Good. I think I unplugged. Did I unplug? That's okay. When you let off the trigger, mm -hmm. it's gonna have a restart, but you never want to restart it in. when you're in the dado, because okay. it'll chip the shit out of it. Okay, good to know. So that's a good lesson. Oh, that one's right on the money, not even like a million. Coming together. Look at the metal. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, look at that burrow, bro. Wow, the detail. Yeah, it all comes out. Nick there. You picking it up? Yeah, right there. One reason to use hardwood is that uh, it can always be fixed. There you go. Might not have been as deep as it appeared. Can I set it up? Mm -hmm. Oh cool, can we change the bit? <laughs> Jesus. This is a last minute thought. For the most part, I'm freehanding this shit. Wow. Yeah. And unfortunately, it was my idea, so I kind of had to come through. Oh, it looks like it came out nice. Look at that. We've made a lot of changes during this project, which I expect. I, I expect everyone to make changes. That's basically my process. My process is going forward with it and figuring out what you like as you're moving on. You start with some dims. The drawing doesn't, doesn't say it all. Never. I know. It never I know. does. There are some secrets, right? <laughs> well, there's there's secrets, but there's different. Your dims are going to change. Your dimensions are going to change, and they're going to have to change because of the way you're building it. Uh, the wood itself always creates challenges, and I believe the wood should tell the story. Uh, the wood should tell you what to do, right? And that's kind of how we went about it. How's that table working out for you girls? It's really nice, actually. It's, it's useful for studying and, yep. and preparing my schedule for school, but now it's comfortable. Sweet. Plus the cat likes it. All right, I love it. <laughs> Very cool. Looking at what you did and what you shot, I'm really proud of you. I think you did a great job, man. It was a son of a bitch. <laughs> it was not easy. It takes about twice the amount of time to build something and shoot it. I hope we get to do more of these. I think I'm going back to Chicago. Oh, what are you doing in Chicago? I'm gonna build a, I'm gonna build a deck for my parents with all my brothers. Oh my gosh. Four brothers. So I look forward to spending time with my brothers and my parents and building the f out of a deck. <laughs> Great job. Thanks, man. Oh, is there an elbow? Are you throwing me the elbow? Yeah. See, we went to the fist, to the elbow. We're going to be doing shoulders yeah, later. Yeah, it's going to be like a foot. 
We're a knee. Next. We're gonna do a knee. <laughs> a toe. Uh, Throw a toe out there. Man. <laughs>